Hey everyone, we got some much needed great news for super micro computer stock investors in this video. And the reason I say it's much needed because the company's stock price fell by more than 21% following its earnings release. So I'll share with you the details and why this is great news for super micro computer stock investors. Let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so like I mentioned, super micro computer stock price down over 21% following its earnings release. And if we zoom out a little more, we can see more pressure from super micro computer stock, which is down close to 41% in the last three months. Now, the company's stock price started the year off phenomenally well, and then it hit a downturn and turned lower. Still, it's up 73% year to date. Actually, if you'd been following my videos, I recommended investors take profits in super microcomputer stock around March of this year. So you will have avoided many of these losses following the peak gains earlier in the year. Regardless, let's take a look at some of the great news that came out of super microcomputers earnings call with Wall Street analysts. Supermicro Computer announced the Supermicro 4.0 data center building block solution, which will reduce customers' new data center build time from about three years down to two years. That's gonna create further demand for Supermicro Computer solutions because it increases the time for these companies to build their AI data centers. And now, the demand for these AI data centers is soaring and will likely continue to soar for at least the next two years as the companies that are primarily building these, the big large hyperscalers like Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Meta Platforms, Alphabet, they've signaled that they're going to spend more next year than they did this year. And so you've got a couple of years of runway of growing investment in data centers. Also, there's existing data centers that need transformation, that need upgrading to an AI data center or a data center that's optimized for AI versus a traditional data center. And this solution from Supermicrocomputer can turn that into an AI data center in one year or even just six months. So whether you're building an entirely new data center from the ground up, or whether you're converting a data center from traditional to AI, Supermicro Computer's new data center building block solution will improve that time to get it up to speed, get it up to running. And management saying that they will start offering this later this calendar year. So you can look forward to this new product increasing revenue for super micro computer and already if you notice the company's revenue forecast for its next year it's likely incorporating this new product because super micro computer is forecasting revenue will likely double next year again and so over the last two years that will mean its revenue has 4x in that time in more good news, the company's new Malaysia campus will start production this November. And in the US, they're adding new buildings and production provisioning capacity near their Silicon Valley headquarters. And this will further boost their monthly rack capacity and value in this year. Furthermore, they're on track to expand to a few other global manufacturing locations. And so Supermicro Computer has seen its revenue double year over year for almost two straight years. And so it's investing in a manufacturing capacity to be able to meet this soaring customer demand. Not only is its revenue soaring, but it's got a record backlog, customers waiting for Supermicro Computer to deliver its service. So it's reasonable for Supermicro Computer to invest aggressively to meet these rising customer needs. Still, it's not an easy thing to do. And so if you're questioning, you know, I'm making this video saying it's great news and everything, and I'm talking optimistically about super micro computer stock, you might say, well, then why is the stock price down over 21%? Why is it down so much off the high? Because these types of expansions are not easy. There's mistakes, there's overinvestment, there's difficulty to execute, there's roadblocks, there are hiccups. And so investors are cautious when a company is making this kind of dramatic investment and is experiencing this kind of step up in revenue. Not all companies can absorb this kind of demand effectively. 
NVIDIA has done it. NVIDIA has been tremendous in its execution amid rising demand for its products. That's why NVIDIA's stock price has soared to a couple trillion dollar valuation, because not only did it have this soaring consumer demand or business demand for its product, but it was able to execute and deliver on that demand extremely effectively with profit margins near 70%. Those are operating profit margins near 70% and a product innovation cycle on a one-year cadence. So what NVIDIA has been able to achieve, not an easy thing to do, and investors are skeptical of Supermicrocomputer's ability to capture this soaring consumer demand effectively enough to have higher profit margins and higher cash flow. That's where investor skepticism is coming in for Supermicrocomputer, even though almost every investor will acknowledge that Supermicrocomputer's demand is soaring, revenue is soaring. The difficulty for Supermicrocomputer is on the execution side. Speaking to that, the company's CFO chimes in and says between the fiscal year 2021 and 2024, Gross profit margins have met or exceeded the target range of 14% to 17%, while non-GAAP operating margins were above the range of 5% to 8% between 2021 and 2024, and more than doubled from the 4.1% in 2021 to 10% in 2024, driven by strong revenue growth and operating leverage. So... I'd like to point you to these operating profit margins, Supermicro Computer boasting about an adjusted operating margin of 10% in its fiscal year 2024, NVIDIA was at 70%. So if you're wondering why NVIDIA's stock price continues soaring and Supermicro Computer, which is experiencing a similar kind of revenue growth, is not experiencing a similar kind of increase in its market capitalization, It's because of the profit margins and it's because of cash flow from operations. They are nowhere near the levels of NVIDIA. And I don't mean to uh, downgrade super micro computer by comparing it to NVIDIA. That's not a apples to apples comparison. But from an investor perspective, I know a lot of investors are looking at these two companies specifically and wondering to themselves why NVIDIA stock price has sustained the momentum and why Supermicro Computer has not sustained the momentum it achieved to start the year. And this is the primary cause of that. It's the lack of growth in profit margins and it's the negative cash flow from operations. So that's the reason why you have that. Still, despite all of that, this news that uh, Supermicro Computer came out with is great for super micro computer stock investors. And to add to that, the company expects its gross and operating margins to gradually increase in the year, driven by the product uh, improvements and product mix manufacturing official efficiencies. And they expect their long-term gross margins will benefit from the lower manufacturing costs as they scale up production in Malaysia and Taiwan, in addition to expansion in the Americas and Europe. So while their profit margins may be impacted in the near term, longer term, the company expects them to increase as a result of these new products and these increases in manufacturing capacity. So great news for super micro computer stock investors. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.